Hey, make sure you join the Discord. The link can be found down below in the description. What is going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be going over one of the new best 120 handcans in Destiny 2. So uh, for my people who don't play the game a lot or don't know, uh, in short, Bungie announced they're doing some 120 hand cannon changes. I think they're trying to make them be able to complete, uh, compete with things like Elsie's Rifle and Messenger, like the long range pulses. Um, essentially, they reverted the checkmate changes. If you remember pre-checkmate, you could two head one body. Uh, now you need precision instrument. However, they're actually reverting that change. So now you can just automatically two head one body somebody. So I kind of made like Igneous Hammer useless if you have a precision instrument god roll. A lot of people did not keep any other rolls. Now one hand cannon that a lot of people probably have thrown in their vaults is the steady hand. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I struggled to find somebody that had this thing. Um, luckily my buddy has one in his vault. Terrible roll, but uh, we'll be going over it. Um, I'll go over at the end of the video, like the full god rolls and stuff that you guys want to get on this thing. But yeah, so uh, moving target and wellspring, high cal and steady hands, and then a handling mousework is ideally what I'm using right now. How is this thing obtained? Well, here's the thing: it's not obtainable. Yeah, this is not fair. Um, there is a insane roll that you can get like a hundred range on. Now keep in mind when Bungie, because the community is very, very mad. Like Bungie is going to eventually bring this back. We've been asking forever. DMG kind of hinted at it on Twitter. Um, there's rolls on this that are going to be nasty. Keep in mind, you'll be able to throw things on like ballistic mods because the new iron banner weapons will probably be enhanceable considering they'll come out soon. But yeah, um, and the gameplay you guys are going to be watching today that I'll be showing this. I'll be using Blade Barrage. This is like all the stuff I'm using if you guys want to send on the video. I'm not going to go over it because it would make the video a little too long. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and leave some you know, feedback down below. But yeah, we're using Matador, Stompies. See you guys in the gameplay. Steady Hand is nice because it has a different kind of like choosable reticle, which is definitely like a big change. Don't know what this guy was trying to do. Wow, this might be like a body or lobby. I'm hoping it's not. He's weak. That's definitely a Rezil check for people wondering why I two-head bodied him. That's just straight up Rezil. He's probably running like three Rezil. Yeah, see? So there won't be like a Rezil check anymore. So they're kind of increasing damage and lowering the Rezil tiers. Oh, we just missed an easy shot. Oh, this is really, really, really bad. Get me out of here. I can just like straight line this guy. Luckily I double melee him. Okay, what in the world is happening? Um I honestly should have used the primary there. That was that was a really bad play on my side there. Anyways, um yeah, today's video is sponsored by Dimming.net. Check them out, guys. Guardians, I would like to recommend you a fantastic service. Dibing.net, you can find teams to complete different activities like raids, dungeons, Trials of Osiris, exotic farming, and many more endgame activities. The best part about the service is it does not require you to share your account information whatsoever. You don't need to give your login or password to order a service that you like. All you have to do is select the self-play option. To do this, select something you like. In this case, I'll do pro design. You're going to choose your clear option. I'll be doing the full clear, so click full clear. Then select the self-play option. As you can see right now, we have $25. To get a discount, make sure you type in code HECTIC for a 15% discount here. As we can see right now, our total is $25.05. If we apply this coupon, we get $24, so you save a dollar. I would highly advise doing this. From here, you're gonna choose a payment method. There's Visa, PayPal, and a few other payment options. In this case, we'll be using Visa. From here, agree to the terms and services, and then proceed to checkout. I would highly recommend Nimming.net, especially because the funnel shape is releasing and there's many awesome services that can be done. That's all for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. All right. This guy got heavy, so we'll see how this plays out. Here we go. Took a little easy kill with that guy. Almost traded, though. This guy's a bow, so I'm just gonna like wall peek. This is amazing. Man, I don't know. This thing just has such little recall, and it just feels really good. Kind of separates it from all the other hand cannons. Honestly, I think this thing might be better than like Rose, but it's kind of weird to compare like a 120 to a 140. Good shots. Um, 
so I feel like it's kind of a bad comparison. Maybe Igneous Hammer would be a good comparison, but I mean, yeah. Up top. Luckily, he missed his last shot. That guy definitely had a PE Igneous Hammer versus an instrument. Missed some easy throw knives. Almost got that kill. Though it wasn't ours, and we almost got it, so that's lucky. Easy little cleanup kill. This guy's going to grapple in. Somebody's coming up behind me. Two headshot, one melee kill. He's jumping up, Peregrines. Just so obvious. Let's get it reload back. Hoping I can slide this guy in time without him like pushing me. Not sure what he's doing right now, but... Okay, well, that was a 10 out of 10 play. I love taking a gunfight with someone and then... Oh, and then he runs into my turret mine. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. It happens. No need to be mad about something that I can't control, right? <laughs> Oh, I just missed such an easy shot. Honestly, that was my fault. Easy little clean up here, though. Kind of destroying this lobby. Let's try and, like... Eager Edge? No way. Honestly, I... I, I, I that's, that's, that's really, 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 really bad. See, things like that, I don't want to talk about. Because that, that just didn't happen. We, we didn't see that. I just missed way too many shots. That's embarrassing. Jump up here. Oh, he's under us. How did I miss that? Stramble. Oh, I just... Yo, is that a... What? What is that? Don't know how I survived that. Dude, that yo-yo thing is chasing me. There we go. Well, we won the match. That was relatively fast. But fun, that's the important thing. Oh, we got a last kill with our steady hand. We dropped a 5.5, Katie. Pretty good. So uh, let's talk about what you guys want to get on this thing. It is a couple of really, really good perks that can be rolled on the steady hand. Now, I'm going to be honest. You can't farm it right now, like I said at the beginning. However, if you have one of these rolls in your vault, I would strongly, strongly recommend it. So uh, let's talk about it. What do you guys want to use? For your site, ideally, probably the True Sight's HCS that will give you the most range stability overall, improve the gun model. I would recommend uh, Ricochet Rounds for the 10 stability and 5 range. Then, probably Zen Moment, because when you proc that Zen Moment trait, you're going to get a nice little increase in things. And then Iron Grip, because Iron Grip is going to give you some stability, though Iron Reach will give you a little bit of range, uh, will take 20 range away at the cost of aim assist, so... It's a little bit annoying, but definitely uh, Iron Grip, Zen Moment, but you're going to have zero reload speed. So you could switch that Mago for something like Flared Magwell, but I'd recommend Ricochet. If you really, really can't bear the reload, just throw on like a Dexterity and reload speed. For your Range Masterwork, definitely Range Masterwork. Guys, you know me all the way, Range Masterwork. Now, when this thing does become like reintroduce you can throw on a blow six mod so you'll have 84 range 64 stability 23 handling zero reload speed which is really bad and 70 aim assist this thing is very very nice has a nice recoil pattern when you compare it to things like igneous hammer definitely recommend you guys trying it out if you have it in your vault a lot of people really really want this thing so yeah definitely uh give it a shot if you have it do you guys have this let me know down below in the description comments but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one have a great night stay safe thanks for watching